Welcome to the community. Welcome to my neighborhood. Hold up. Let me check something out. Yep. The community park is open for business now, guys. You know, we finished all the final touches and everything like that. But the community wouldn't be a community without some of the neighbors in the neighborhood. So, let's go ahead and let me introduce you to my neighbors in the community here. Let's go right All right, guys, here we are. We're at the, uh, the corner of Saul Street and Demi Street. Home of Community Circle. So, let's go to the entrance over here so we can see who some of the community members are in Community Circle. A family of great Planko creators. So without further ado, guys, let the intros begin. So we're going to start off right here. And let's take the hood off. So we can go ahead and do our due diligence with clicking the peoples and see who we got in here. We got MB72, one of the Discord members in here. Uh, let's see who else we got up in here. We got uh, Hash Sandicoot up in here. And who else we got in here? We got the almighty Albers, a wonderful creator. You know, he's standing outside, you know, checking everything out. Then we got, uh, of course, we got our centerpiece planet coaster thing right there. And to the right is my waterfall that I had created and called it Community Falls. But at the time of me building this thing, uh, one of the community members, Becky Richter, had reached 50 subs at that point so i decided to change the name to show a little support to becky by changing the name to richter falls and put a little plaque by it here right here that says richter falls congrats on reaching 50 plus subs because at that at this point she was past 50 subs when i was doing this so i added the 50 plus and who do you got sitting on the bench here becky richter yeah so that was just one of the ways i wanted to uh show support and uh show uh yeah show support to another discord member by doing that and yeah because getting subs on this youtube thing is real hard so yeah, so we're going to keep on moseying on down here. You know, I like how I use those lights for, you know, mailbox. But now, you know, I got an even better setup for something that I could have used for this. But it's too late now. But it's nothing to hear over there, man. You know, I know next time. I know next time. Like I said, gamers mess up, guys. But over here on this porch, man, who we got right here? We're going to click this guy. Who we got sitting on the porch? Iron Matty. He's sitting out here on the porch chilling looking at his car uh who's that with him is that his lady chrissy let's see yep chrissy p all right cool they out there chilling you know they out there chilling you know you know maddie sit out here on the porch because he can get a nice ambient sound of the waterfall back there it's relaxing to him you know as he would say it's ace so let's go let's keep on moseying on down guys to, oh oh okay all right that was like the matrix so let's keep on going on the tour after we was just rudely interrupted by that major glitch right there so let's keep it moseying on down the road oh yeah that's it's the garbage truck coming it's garbage day today you know what i mean so you know but we got a moving truck down here let's see what's going on down here guys so who is this standing by the car right here though let's click this guy see who this is Oh, this is Milo 04. Oh, okay. He probably wondering what's, what's taking this guy so long unpacking this truck so he can get out of here. So let's see who this guy is moving in. You know, because he's new to the community, you know. All right, gonna edit the scene here. Let's see who this is. Oh, poops it out. Oh, he decided to move on into the community, guys. So he's in here. You know, he's getting his stuff situated. Now, who we got standing outside over here? Oh, we got to get out of that. Got. Sorry, guys. Who is this? We got Presley over here. Okay, so we got another Discord members, you know, all right in here. And then we keep on moseying on down to the end. 
You got the Jones Water Company truck parked outside, and here I go. You guys see me earlier. So it's no big deal. So we're going to keep on going. Over here to the apartment complex building here. We got standing outside right here. Who this is? We got Doom, another Discord member standing outside right here. And even in the building, we got a couple of members in the building here. Okay, let's see who upstairs in the apartment here. Who this is? All right, we're going to click this guy. And we got Corbis here, guys. He's sitting here taking a break from all that great creating he be doing and looking outside of the community. And, hold up, do we got anybody else upstairs in their house? Anybody else? Anybody else? Yep, we got another, another character here, another guy here. Let's see who this is. Gonna step on in. Hey, you mind if we step in? Come here, man. Oh, we got Diamond Knight, you know, who's making this appearance in the uh, community park right there. That Diamond Knight just made another recent video lately, you know. He's been busy with school and everything. Hope everything is going good with the school and all that, you know. Education is key. Education is key, sir. Good job, good job. And the community wouldn't be a community. And a neighbor wouldn't be a neighbor without your friendly neighborhood Frenchman, Cowboy Yan BK. You know, he looks out over the whole neighborhood. You see, tip this hat to you guys. Yeah. So we're going to keep on moving on down. And he out here, I think, and I think he out here waiting on the post, the post office, man. You know, he waiting on that YouTube plaque. You know what I mean? I feel you. So here we go. We're going to keep on moseying on down right here. So if you was watching any of my community park updates, you know, the property bros of Planko was living in this house for a while, you know. But they finally was able to get this house on the market and get it sold and off the market it was to two lucky buyers. There was perfect fits for this place. So let's see who these guys is. I'm going to click it. We got I Am Possible 13. And... Green Jaybird 13. Welcome to the neighborhood, guys. Welcome to the neighborhood. So we're going to go on head on and keep on moseying through the neighborhood. You know, as is we salesmen right now. You know, this is what it is. And over here, like I said before, this was Michael and Jasmine's house, When, if you've seen any of my updates. And, of course, you still got Jasmine standing outside here. You got Michael Vintage Car standing sitting over there. Jasmine's car sitting out here, but where's Michael at, guys? Huh, I don't know where Michael at. So we're going to move you on down to the next house to see who the next member of the community who's up in here. Oh, my bad. I bumped y'all here with that mirror there. Oops. So we're going to see who this house belongs to here, man. Who this house belongs to over here, guys? Let's check it out. Somebody in the backyard. Check it out. Who that is? Oh. Okay, who this is here, guys? Let's check it out. We got Harry from Tall Guy Gaming out here, fishing on the 67 Chevy over here. Yeah. All right. Are we going to go on mosey on now, guys? We we got to put an APB out on Michael, guys. We, gotta, we don't know where Michael at, you know? It's part of the community, so we got to keep it on moving. Keep this tour going, guys. Let's keep this tour going. So we're going to go on right on over here, across Saul Street, right on over here to Planko High School. We just got some random animatronics right there waiting on the transit bus right there. That's why it's a different color than the other buses I got in here, to make it look like a transit bus. And who we got standing outside over here? Hold on, let's check them out and see. Principal Plip Cam. Oh, okay. He's standing outside waiting on the first day of summer school, I guess. So we're going to keep it moving. Keep it moving, guys. And then over here, I decided to go with the rock gravel park and lot over here with a few lines, you know, to give it a touch of realism a little bit or whatever. Um, let me see. Did I name any anybody over here? I don't think I named anybody over here, I don't think. Let me see. No, I didn't, but I know what I am going to do. I'm going to edit the building, though. I know I'm going to put a name on here right now. Oh, that ain't what we want to click, though. I'm going to put a name on this guy right here. Oh, I do got a name on it. That's Kept1969. 
all right so i don't have to click it there we go guys we do got somebody right there all right so we're gonna go over here now Let's see who we got in the park over here we got school school security there go michael guys he's showing up for his first day of summer school as a new teacher here and we got officer nate doll 655 telling them all the ropes of the school and all the rules regulations and who we got over here and who these guys is elixir og i think he's a new discord member but he made it to the community man congratulations buddy you know and then here it is who this is here mad mouser hmm all right i think he did that uh hmm Hamlet Hollows Park or something? Like, I don't know. Don't quote me on that, guys. But here we go. Let's keep going on the um, the tour here. In the back of the school, we got the film class 101 here. There's something that I just threw together, man. Uh, this is uh, one of my subscribers here, I.W. Coy. I think that's how you pronounce it. He's my film teacher here. So he's teaching everybody how to vlog and make great Planko videos for the community. Alright. So I think that's pretty much all the intros of the people over here that we got. So we're going to go on ahead toward the entrance gates to the parking lot going into the community park itself, guys. Look at the traffic coming in. You know, look at the traffic coming in. Mm-hmm. This is what we've been waiting on, guys. Opening day for Community Park. Um, I had a few little issues. Hold up. Okay, it's going down some. I'm out of check on some. But either way it go, guys. You know, here we go. You know, going over here. Let's see who this is working the service thing right there. A little small space, but you know, we got Moomin Lou socks over here, guys. He's he's in charge of letting all the vendors and service trucks garbage trucks and things like that through the front gate um we got any more names in here any more? oh i think we got a couple names here all right who this is here we click on that that's oliver hertz yeah and then we have who this is here i think this tj puffs right here Yep, TJ Puffs 92 right here in the back checking all the emergency trucks and making sure everything is all good and ready to go if case needed. All right, so let's go ahead in, guys. Let's get on in. Let's get on in to the parking lot of Community Park, guys. So we're going to go around so we can get around to the front entrance of the park and so we can start off with our tour. And a couple of trucks here bringing in some shipments, you know. A few cars, a few cars arriving to enjoy their fun field day here in the community park. Mm -hmm. So this going on over here and get started on the tour, guys. All right, guys, here we are. The entrance to a community park, guys. Let's go ahead on in. Let's do this. All right, all right, all right. Welcome to the park, guys. Thank you for joining me on another one of my park tour creations here at Scott Boogie Gaming. If you're new to the channel, think about subscribing. Hit that subscribe button, man. Put some more subscribers on the channel over here. Here we go. Um, we got our, over to the left here. We got all our gift shops and everything gift related for the park here. I got to add a few more um, selection of hats and things in there. You know, and remove a few, but yeah. And then on this side, we got um, the information stand, the staff room, first aid, and the bathrooms. And you get a nice view of the sky watcher as it go on up with people on it. And let's get on on to our sign here that shows us where the welcome center is, the gift shops is, and let's go this way. What does the rest of it say? What the rest of it say? Then we got the Cobra, the Dippin' Bumpers, and Food Court. So let's go ahead in, man. Let's check out a few of the attractions in the park so you can see how I laid this thing out, guys. 
And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy yourself and have fun today. So let's get to the Welcome Center and see what we got in the Welcome Center, which is basically food, hot dogs, churros, another information stand, and a pip shot juice stand. And the Sky Watcher ride and an entertainment point here. And then over here, we got another little pathway leading off to the back corner of the park, which is the Cosmic Cow Zone, where back here, we got the Gelato Swings, the Wild Scoops Ride, and the Cosmic Blender Attraction. So let's go ahead and check out that area right here and maybe take a ride on one of these rides back here and see. So we'll see. So more than likely, let's go ahead on and uh, walk on in. And this is what I got right here once you come on into the Cosmic Cow area. We got the Cosmic Cow milkshake and ice cream stand right there with the staff lobby in the back over there. Right across from the gelato swings. Nice chair swing with all the gelato ice cream outside. Uh, we got the par benches. Uh-oh, somebody's sick. Some people sick. Oh my goodness. We got people getting sick. Alright, so here we go. Then we got my cosmic carousel, which I just put on the workshop today of recording this video. It went on my workshop today. And we got a loony balloon stand where some nobody's in here working. They must be on break, hopefully. And then we got uh, uh, only roller coaster in this side of the park over here, which is the wild scoops. It's a wild spinning mouse ride. So I think this is going to be the first ride of the tour that we're going to take a ride on, guys. Let's check these stats and everything. Let's check these stats. G forces ain't bad at all. You know, it's not green across the board. So, you know, we're going to click one of these people right here and. Hold up, we're gonna click on these people right here and I'm gonna talk to y'all when we get up off the ride. How about that? Right, guys that was wild scoops you know uh, not too bad not too bad you know a lot of spinny in on that you know I don't like the spinny in it you know uh, you know but it's cool it's cool it's cool you know it goes with the park a little family attraction on opening day this line was long but you know I guess after a while this ride dies down and it has a, a moderate line like that so so I'm cool with that so here we go we got the Cosmic Blender right here, but um, it's not getting as much action as I thought it was going to get in this part. Because I guess because I had to put the entrance this way like that, but you know, it's got a few people in line for this ride. Got a few people over here. Oh. But I, I like this because it'll give you a nice view of that drop. Perfect timing, guys. Look at that. You know, real cool, you know what I'm saying, real cool, but right here, this is where we got the, the Cosmic Blender, which is, you know, the swinging pendulum ride that I painted pink and blue, like cotton candy, you know, I don't know, let's, let's see, man, let's take a ride on this too, guys, let's take a ride on this too, we're gonna get on this, and um, I'll finish the tour when we get off of this. And here we go on the Cosmic Blender, guys. Enjoy.
All right, guys. That was the cosmic blender right there. Uh, where the exit at? It's over here, right? Let's get on out of here. That's the exit right there. That's the cosmic blender. And like I said, we got the gelato swings right there, which is the chair swings right there. Oh man, we got vomit out here, man. Now I see where the vomit coming from, man. The vomit coming from that that that, that wild mouse ride over there. Yeah, that's probably why I don't get no action. Don't nobody want to get sick. And I don't even got no first aid around here. They gotta walk all the way to the front. Yep, they gotta walk all the way to the front over here. Not over here, but all the way to the front, front. Get some first aid. So we're gonna go on back out this way, guys, and make our way oh let me get this hood off the screen right quick sorry about that guys it's going right up to the next little sign we got to say food court and toilets the dipping bumper claw games and high rise and then over here we got cobra food court gifts and dipping bumpers and twisted plunge so either way you go this way you're going to get a chance to run into those dipping bumper cars so let's go this way and check out the custom co dive coaster over here. One of the signature rides in this park, Cobra. The dive Athon coaster. And the line is packed over here. So it's going right up to the front so we can get them stats, some G Force numbers, and all that. And we can catch us a ride on Cobra. So. Let's check out these stats, guys, because we, we got a car coming in. All green across the boards, and G-forces, kind of high, uh, you know, borderline high, but, you know, we're going to get on this thing, man, and uh, I'm going to talk to y'all when I get off this coaster. That was the Cobra, guys. You know, yeah. there's a few things that uh, I probably could fix on it. You know, maybe try to slow it down a little bit, maybe. But I think I slow it down. I'm gonna try that and see. But I don't want to kill my stats a little bit. I'm, I'm satisfied with my stats there. But there's a couple of spots. Well, not a couple, but one spot in particular that I may go back and maybe move that trim brake. Instead of putting it right there before that inversion, maybe I put it at that airtime hill up there. I don't know, man. I know one thing. Uh, I know how to find out. Michael, when you watch this video, man, put, me, put it in the comment section, man. They got to move that brake section back or leave it right there. or where should I put another brake session to kind of slow the ride down some a little bit so to come into the station just a little bit slower? End of question. There we go. All right, that's how I'm going to get the answer to that. All right, back to the tour, guys. All right, we go back to this nice fountain. I mean, I said fountain, nice little centerpiece statue right there. And let's walk on over here to my custom Zones Water Company food court stand over here. Well, we got a pizza pen, just ribbon, Jones water, and we got a gopi on the other side, right across from the bathrooms. And over here, we got a 
chest out security right there. We got the dipping, dodge, and bumping cars right here. Well, you know, of course, we got all the ice creams, you know, everywhere. I mean, hold up. Why is it ice cream right in the middle of the doorway, though? The game glitching on me right now. Well, yeah, that ain't supposed to be right there. Hold up, guys. I got I'm, I'm, I can't move nothing, so I'm gonna have to delete that. Come on, man. I want to delete that. Come on, bro. Excuse me, guys. Thank you. All right. Sorry about the inconvenience right there, but yeah, this the dipping bumpers. You know, got all the uh the ice cream and makeshift dipping dies. You know, I couldn't find none smaller than that, so. You get the picture. All right, so here we go. All right, we finna go on over here with the claw game, high rise, maverick, and gopi rush. You're probably wondering why gopi rush is the only thing green on the sign. You know what I'm saying? You will see when you get there. Um, yep, yeah, we got the claw games. I just use the the ones from the the end game that I seen. Uh, Cause I use. Rave's arcade for my boss walkthrough. If you haven't uh, downloaded that and gave it a look see, go ahead and give it a look see, man. Because you know it was starting off as just a one coaster experience, but now I added a a flat ride and another coaster in it, a little at a time, you know. But, and the new coaster that I put in there is called the Carowind Six. So, yeah, check it out. But all right, here we go. Back to the um, the park. And we got the high rise, which is, I'm always confused with what kind of coaster these are or what type these are, but it's this, it's one of these. You know, like I said, it's high rise. And like I said before, I called it high rise and then I put it in a high rise. So let's get on up here so we can get the stats to this ride and everything, guys. You know, we're going to go ahead and walk through the whole queue. We ain't going to go through the priority this time. And we're going to walk through the line so you can see how long it is, how long the line is. Yeah. Like, like I say, I got some boring cues, man. I don't like to, I don't like, I don't like to decorate my cues too much, man. You know, I, I like to say that peace count for other stuff, man. That's just me, man. For certain rides, but then some rides I, I do like to decorate the, um, the, the cue line. All right, okay, six nine with the rainbow here. Let's go. Mhm. Mm All right, so we finna check out the stats on this high rise guys so we can take a ride on it so y'all can tell me what to think about this one it's not green across the board you know what i mean you know i like to get the greens but the g-forces is good so we're gonna wait for this thing to come back and we're gonna take a ride on it so let's see do we want to be pick one of these ladies and be somebody sitting in the seat yeah i think so we'll be with somebody sitting in the front so I talk to y'all when we get off this coaster. All right, guys, that was high rise. Ooh, I got bars, bro. All right, you know what I'm saying? I got bars. All right, but that was high rise right there. It was cool. Uh, could use a little, little bit more smoothing from it, just a little bit, a little bit. But overall, that's another cool ride that I 
had to have in this park here. And on to, along with the nice big sign that comes with it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Nice big sign that I had to put there with it. And we got uh, the Pip Shop Juice Stand here. And then we got this big heavy line over here for one of my favorite rides in Cedar Point. And um, this ride uh, actually was a, a ride that, that I had got off the workshop from a creator named Cassie13956. You know, but only thing was when I downloaded it and to show, you know, love in community park, you know, I'm like, oh, cool. This was a nice piece, you know, that I could add to the park from a creator from the community, you know, on Frontier Workshop, you know what I'm saying, in the Planet Coastal community. So I had to have it. But the only thing about it was, it was too rough, man. So I had to change a lot of the tracks man but I was met, trying to make sure I kept it in the form of the Maverick because I was trying to do the smoothing tool with the four meter pieces and see like I, this part right there where it just came through man that's the only part I couldn't keep exactly like the Maverick part but it's still exciting so alright it's going to give it a shot, but this was created by Cassie13956. Appreciate that donation to the community. So let's go. Let's go. We're going to the fast pass on this ride, though, guys. You know, I'm thirsty. I want to get on this ride quick. All right, we ain't going past the fast pass. We're going in front. We own the place. All right, we're going to get on the next ride. But we're going to... And you know what? Uh, smoothing it, it, smoothing it out, and changing a lot of these track pieces that was in here to the longer pieces, also changed the stats on here because there was two oranges and a green. Now it's all green. G forces is really high, really high. But uh, hey, we gonna we gonna have to run with it though. You know, we gonna have to run with it, guys. We gonna have to run with it. second seat you know I thought we was gonna be in the front but we wasn't but yeah man this ride is a hundred percent smoother than it was when I first downloaded it and got on it for the first time for a test ride in the park it was it was really really rough so but yep appreciations to Cassie 13956 for this creation though it still was it was going to stay in the park even if I couldn't get those uh, rough pieces out of there and fix it. It's still going to stay in there. And I got to get a janitor over here, man. Oh, my God. Hold up, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Had to take care of a little business. Had to take care of a little bit of business. You know, I had to get some people out here to clean that up. All right, so that was the Maverick right there, guys. Like I said... Donated by Tassie13956. Yep, as a donation to the community park. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And over here we got uh, another staff room, a pip shop stand, a pip 
Pip Shot Juice stand, and then we got uh, Captain Lockjaw Overpass leading into the Gopi Rush ride, which is that launch ride that goes back and forth. Oh my God, man, what's going on with all the janitors right there? What about them, man? What's going on? See, oh yeah, that was, yeah, that's gonna happen right now, cause you know, and then all y'all miss that Gopi stand over there. All you cleaners, bro. Oh my goodness. What it is, what it is. And then he looked at it and turned around. I'm going to dock your pay, bro. All right, so this is the Gopi Rush ride, man. This going to get this thing a ride. Let's check the, check the stats on it. Ooh, that thing just blew past. All right, let's check the stats on this thing. We got not all green across the board, but cool. Let's check the G-forces, though. G-forces, a little bit high, but, you know, it's one of these launch rides, man. It's one of these launch rides, so I'm going to talk to y'all when we get off this ride right here. We're going to check it out, all right? Let's check it out. All right, guys, that was the Gopi Rush right there. That was the Gopi Rush ride. What can I say about that ride? Is it goes back and forth. Mm -hmm. See, I got to change their schedules, man. They steady walking over here, but ain't nobody hitting that Gopi stand, man. So, after this video, I got to do a little bit of roster adjustment so I can move some of them janitors around. Because we got about five, six of them right there by itself. Goodness gracious. All right, so let's go, man. Just nothing right here. Just a little bit of random terrain stuff I put there with the steam and mist or whatever coming out of there. Um, I had opened the park before, but then I had to close it down because I was missing, like, something to drink and eat right in this little walk path right here. And my, my, my park rating kept going down with the guests. That's another reason why I got so many janitors back there because it was, had a lot of vandalism going on and broken benches and garbage cans and security chasing people out with pickpocketing it. It was, it was ridiculous man it was, it was ridiculous it was like a riot in there it was, it was bad but all right back to the tour guys here we go man on uh twisted plunge it's just one of these regular rides right here you know water ride log flume ride it's a log flume ride there ain't no biggie Oh, we can get this, this thing a ride. Let's we'll give it a ride. Come on, man. No, man. Yeah, this one. We don't want to be front bumper, though. Look forward. There we go. That'll work. Yeah, take a ride on this thing here, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying the park tour, man. Uh, I tried to add uh, a lot of people's names in the animatronics on the uh, intro to the, the park tour video and a few people creations in the park, like the Gopi Rush ride. I can't remember who made that, man. And I'm so sorry, I can't remember who made that. You know, they, you know, the whole point of the community park was to use a couple of donated rides for the community to add to the park, along with my creations, and I forgot this person's name, so if you created that, if you're watching my video and you see this, appreciate you, and thank you. Uh-huh. 
basic little water ride. Got a little wet, man. You know what I'm saying? I got on this ride for a reason, too, guys. You know what I mean? Got on this ride for a reason, though. You know what I mean? Just hold up. Give your boy a second. So let us get around back to the front of the stand. Twisted plunge, guys. That was the twisted plunge. So let's go ahead and get off this thing. All right. Oh, okay. Let's go ahead. Let's get on off this thing. Go ahead. Walk on around. Walk on around. There's a reason why I got on there, man. We got all wet now, man. We wet. I gotta go dry off right quick, man. Hold up. I gotta go to my bike and blue air dryer machine, man. Yeah. I told you people use it. I told you. Alright, so function in building. So let me go on here and dry off real quick, guys. I'm gonna go all the way in. Let me dry off right quick. Let me push the time in. Alright, yeah, it's on the right time. It's good. Oh yeah, man. Refreshing. Nothing like drying off after a nice water ride. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. Back to the tour, guys. Back to the tour. We on here this turn right here. Oh, yeah. We got us another one of these chief beef stands. That's that pork I don't like. Hey, how you gonna just leave when you got all these people right there, bro? Wow, fam. That's what you own, bro. Let me see. Hold up. Wait a minute. I gotta see something now. See, that was bringing my park rating down, man. They tripping. He lucky to uh he lucky that the, the staff room is just only right there. He gonna come right back in a minute, cause I put all my staff rooms on rec room, cause they go in there and, and they they regain their happiness and and stuff quicker. Mm-hmm. More faster than anything else. See, watch this, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. We're gonna be able to watch it during the tour. So they're gonna go in that first person, no, nah, to see the one I'm looking for. Now watch how fast you come back out of there. Both of them. Mm-hmm. Ain't gonna take long. I'm trying to tell you. It must be crowded in there. Everybody coming out. So yeah, I forgot you gotta wait for everybody else to regenerate, then come out, then they come out. But either way it go. Yeah, they rejuvenate faster in there when you use the rec center. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then here go another one of my little fenced off area, man, that I like to do now. And at all my parks, I have a little area that's fenced off like this with either gift shop, food, food courts in there, or just the benches by themselves. Just something, a little touch I like to add, you know, of my own. Yeah. So, that's pretty much the gist of the community park, guys. Uh, Got one. Got my custom coaster in here. Two coasters from the community. Uh, flat ride. Well, I got two coasters in here. Sorry, two coasters in here, from, and two coasters from the community, and a lot of community member names in the the community neighborhood itself. So. Let's go ahead and get an overview of the park, but we got to get a little distance, man, because we got all this to look at, you know. Got to get a little distance because, like I said, we got a lot to look at. So we're going to bag it all the way back, man. We got a lot to look at. So, damn, we got a lot to look at. Hold up. Okay, we still ain't got everything yet. There we go. There we go, guy. We got everything now. So, let's go ahead and get a nice shot of the park and see how I did on the lighting in this park. And here go the nighttime lighting in Community Park, guys. I really like the lighting on the Cobra right here and the uh, Gopi Rush over there. Like you can see everything. 
the strobe lights. I even got the light on the waterfall, waterfall over there. The lights in the community and everything. And the entrance right there. Yeah, guys. Like I say, I do my best on here, man. I'm working on getting better and better with each layout that I try to lay out and each creation that I try to create. As far as coaster and buildings and things like that. So, so if you're new to my channel, guys, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And go on to the Frontier Workshop and download the Community Park and come and check it out for yourself. Yep. So until next time, guys, and to the next Planet Coaster video, I'm Scott Boogie, and I'll catch you in the next one.